Judging from the fate of the captured Jews and other Nazi prisoners, you can predict that the soldiers from the Allied powers did not have it easy in Nazi captivity. Life as a prisoner of war is normally very hard, but just like it was for many Holocaust victims, prisoners of war who the Germans recognized as racial enemies went through hell in the German camps. Treatment disparity based on nationality the Nazis firmly believed in their ideology of racial superiority, showing no sympathy towards those who did not fit within their vision. This ideology extended to former combatants captured in the war, leading to an unimaginable fate for prisoners of war who were recognized as racial enemies by the Germans. Throughout the Second World War, the Germans had over a thousand prisoner of war camps, holding former combatants and other enemy captives spread throughout the Third Reich. Not all captives of war were transferred to camps to be kept as prisoners, some were killed on the spot. For instance, African soldiers from other European armies like the French army were often shot upon capture, while their white counterparts were kept as prisoners. Jewish officers, some circumcised Muslims and identifiable communists also suffered a similar fate. The Geneva Convention on the Rights of Prisoners of War 1929 makes provisions for how prisoners of war should be treated when they are captured. Germany, along with most other European countries, was one of the original signatories to the convention, although they only ratified it into local law in 1934. However, in the heat of the Second World War, Nazi Germany did not pay any attention to this convention and many other international humanitarian law rules. British Prisoners of War in the string of defeats that the Allied forces suffered between 1940 and 1942, a number of soldiers were captured as prisoners. About 170,000 British prisoners of war were taken by the German and Italian forces. Germany, just like Britain, was a party to the Geneva Convention of 1929 before the start of the Second World War. Although the Nazi party did not abide by the terms of the convention, the British and Commonwealth soldiers were treated fairly well in custody, at least when compared to the treatment their Soviet counterparts got. Even though the food rations were small and the conditions were poor, the officers were still fed. There are reports that the men and not the officers, however, were forced to work at hard labor. American soldiers got this same treatment as they were placed in prisoners of war camps where they were fed with small rations of food and provided with basic materials for survival. The rations of food from the Germans were barely enough to keep them alive, especially as the war started tilting in favor of the Allied forces. It was the packages from the Red Cross that were shared among the prisoners that made them survive their time in custody. Recounting his experience in a German POW camp, Richard A. Hartman stated, We weren't beaten, we weren't mistreated, but it was a miserable experience. We were cold, we were hungry, and we were lousy. However, as the war gradually came to an end, they were forced to go on long walks as the Germans moved them from camp to camp to escape the invading forces. While in POW camps, the soldiers were subject to frequent interrogations from German officers. A surviving prisoner spoke on how his fellow prisoners were shot in front of him, as a means of convincing him to share information that they presumed he had. Jewish prisoners who were captured as prisoners of war fighting for European and US forces were constantly living in fear of death. Milton W. Stern reported from his personal experience how he and about 200 other Jewish prisoners in a POW camp were segregated from the rest of the prisoners. They were meant to be transferred to a concentration camp, but with the Allied forces' unexpected advances in German territory, they were luckily saved. Soviet Union Prisoners of War Prisoners of war from the Soviet Union suffered a much worse fate than the British soldiers, as they were kept in different camps or sections of the camps. At the time of the Second World War, the Soviet Union was not a party to the Geneva Convention on the treatment of prisoners of war. So even though the Soviets had no obligation to treat the Germans in a humane manner, the Germans still had a duty to follow the terms of the convention. However, the reason for the ill treatment of the Red Army captives was beyond just the Geneva Convention. It stemmed from the Nazi ideology itself. The special treatment that the Red Army soldiers got was because the Nazis always vehemently opposed communism. In Nazi Germany, the communist Soviets were considered to be subhuman, racial enemies of the superior German race. 
Between 1941 and 1945, the Nazi army captured about 6 million Russians as prisoners of war, and they were kept in special sections of the prisoners of war camps. They were subjected to different kinds of humiliating acts, beatings, torture, mutilation, and even public shootings. Where they were not actively harmed, they were kept in camps with less than sufficient facilities and starved. About 3.3 million prisoners of war from the Soviet's Red Army died in Nazi captivity through these horrific practices. For those that were not publicly shot, malnutrition and death to diseases like typhus caused by inadequate food, water, inhumane living conditions, and no medical care led to their eventual death. Polish Prisoners of War Polish prisoners of war got a similar treatment to what the Soviet prisoners had to endure in Nazi camps. As this conflict raged on, reports say that Polish combatants that were captured or surrendered were mostly killed immediately. There are reports of prisoners of war captured in the occupation of Poland being shot or drowned. At the Sladow massacre, up to 252 prisoners of war were killed by German soldiers. Soldiers that were not taken into custody were shot, and some that were taken into custody were left without the basic supplies they needed to survive. France among the French prisoners of war, the African soldiers were separated from the white ones. While the Nazi soldiers kept the white soldiers as prisoners of war, the black soldiers were killed on the spot. In June 1940, during the rout of the French army, a German regiment killed the African soldiers and imprisoned the white soldiers as prisoners of war. This and many other cases of a massacre of African soldiers were recorded in this region. However, in 1943, after the Italian armistice, a number of prisoners of war were executed by the Germans. On the day of Italy's surrender, the German High Command issued an order that no prisoners were to be taken. The German troops massacred the surrendering Italian officers in their numbers in Italy, while a number of prisoners were drowned due to an air attack by the Allied forces. Women Prisoners of War Female soldiers often suffered the worst fate upon capture by the Nazi forces. On the 29th of June 1941, Field Marshal Gunther von Klug issued an order that captured women soldiers were to be shot dead on capture. Many other German commanders issued similar orders on the Eastern Front. Based on these orders, many women soldiers captured by the Nazis would be subjected to abuse and torture before they were eventually killed by the Nazis. The inhumane treatment of women prisoners of war in Nazi camps was so common that women used to kill themselves before they could be captured. Russian snipers Natalia Kovshova and Maria Polivanova have been called heroines of the war, as they committed suicide before they could be captured by the Germans. Allied female soldiers like Noor Inayat Khan and others who were unlucky to be captured by the German forces were taken into custody in concentration camps to live under poor conditions. In the end, many of them, including Noor Inayat Khan herself, were executed. The Nazi army was generally known to be utterly ruthless, and the soldiers who were taken as prisoners of war got a direct dose of the Nazis' cruelty while in POW camps. The most striking part of this event in history is how the soldiers were subject to different treatments, depending on their country of origin. The British and many other European soldiers caught by the Germans were fed and treated fairly, while the Soviet prisoners of war had to endure abuse and starvation while in German camps.